Internet, my name is Lave, and I'm doing something slightly different for my channel this week because I get asked quite a lot why I don't review TV shows, and the answer is quite simple really, I just prefer movies, and I spend most of my time watching movies and then reviewing them. Don't get me wrong, I do watch what I consider to be the big hitters when it comes to TV shows like Game of Thrones, Season 7 is absolutely killing it, I really loved Westworld from last year, that was fantastic, but I know there are so many other great TV TV shows out there which get recommended to me all the time but I just can't invest that much time to watch them and then review them. Plus the big hitters like Game of Thrones already have so much exposure with so many channels doing episode reviews and breakdowns. I don't really think I can add anything to the conversation so if I was gonna do it I was gonna do something which maybe hasn't been heard of by everyone but I absolutely believe deserves to be talked about and I think I found a real gem for you here. It's called A Touch of Cloth and it comes from the mind of Charlie Brooker who also brought us Black Mirror, another TV show which I haven't seen. Quite honestly, hand on heart, when it was first aired in 2012, I thought it was the funniest thing on TV and to be frank, I haven't seen anything which has made me laugh out loud quite as much since. Spread over three seasons or series as it's known over here in the UK with two episodes apiece, it follows Jack Cloth, a brilliant maverick but deeply troubled detective with a scarred past who gets paired up with a new rookie DI who's a straight shooting top of her class ambitious cop called an old man, which is one of the many running jokes throughout the series where she keeps correcting people who call her old man and she says it's old man. <laughs> it's so good. In series one, Cloth and Old Man meet for the first time and they have to solve a series of murders which somehow connects to Jack's past. In series two and after solving the murder from the first series, Jack has hit the bottle again but is drawn back into action by the death of one of his colleagues and an owl. And series three wraps up with Jack investigating the murder of his estranged twin brother, Terry Cloth, and investigating a cult-like gang. If you haven't gathered from that summary, it's a brilliant parody which is lampooning practically every police or detective series you've ever seen. It follows the same formula and it knows the genre inside out, but it just cranks up the silliness to ludicrous levels and pokes fun at all of the tropes and cliches that those shows use. In fact, after watching A Touch of Cloth, it's really hard to watch a police or detective show without thinking, oh my god, they take the mick out of that in A Touch of Cloth. The sheer volume of jokes and gags are so impressive. It ranges from ridiculous dialogue to visual gags to props. I honestly missed a lot of them the first time I watched this because I was still laughing at the previous joke, which just means that this has got so much rewatchability to it because every time I do, I pick up on something new. The cast are all amazing as well, who all play their stereotypical characters completely straight, but to a T. You've got Navin Chowdhury, who's playing DC ASAP, who literally spews exposition from anything from the murder weapon to the color of the door to the price of a coat hanger. He's brilliant. I also really liked Adrian Bowe's character, who's playing DC Hairyhand, who's a borderline sex pest and pervert, basically, who's got hairy hands. There's so many great recurring characters throughout the series, too many to name here, but there's also some celebrity cameos from people like Brian Cox and Karen Gillan and even Todd Carty. Yeah, Todd Carty. But the stars of the show are unquestionably John Hanna as the titular character. I can't remember seeing him in any other comedy, but he's so good in this. He's so perfect as Jack Cloth, again, because he's playing it so straight. And I don't know how he keeps a straight face saying ridiculous lines like, oh, shut up and eat your orange juice, or I read about it on the radio. <laughs> and Saran Jones as Anne Oldman, or old man. She's brilliant. What I find really funny about her casting is that she made her big break in an actual detective serious TV show called Scott and Bailey and it just makes me love her even more that she was so game to do this. She's brilliantly funny in this as well. In terms of negatives, I haven't really got any. This show knows exactly what it's trying to do. It knows the source material which it's lampooning and it does it absolutely brilliantly. At a stretch, maybe some of the jokes are a bit too British centric and maybe lost on some foreign viewers, but there are plenty of other jokes and gags which are just universally funny. If you liked films like Airplane or Naked Gun or Hot Shots, then absolutely watch this TV show. It's 
absolutely brilliant. So I can't really do an enjoyment tracker for this TV series. I'll just say that series one is hilarious, series two is hilarious, and series three is hilarious. And that's another reason why I think this series is so good because it didn't outstay its welcome. It knew that it needed to end and we all know that the brightest stars burn the shortest. It's small but absolutely perfectly formed. A bit like me. If you're based in the UK and you have Sky Television and their on-demand service, you can watch all three of their series right now on demand. If you don't have Sky, then pick yourself up a bargain on Amazon. This is going for $8.99. What a bargain. Absolutely do it. I highly recommend it, you won't regret it. Speaking of comedy, and another reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going away this weekend to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival to support a couple of friends who are performing up there. I'll put links in the description to their channels, show them support if you're in Scotland, go and check them out. They're really funny, creative people. Unfortunately, that means I'm not gonna be able to see any new releases this weekend. I was hoping to see Logan Lucky and American Made at some point. I will get my reviews up for them as soon as I can, but just bear with me. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching this video. If you haven't seen A Touch of Cloth, give it a watch. I guarantee you will laugh loads of times. It's absolutely worth it. And thanks again for watching. If you can, give this video a like, and don't forget to share the lave. Washing up cloth. Subscribe